All right, Shalom, one minister. Once again, it's the brother Kalog here to the spirit to provide a quick video. But before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh Kala Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakodash. I just want to speak in the spirit um, in regards to the mighty acts of the heavenly Father, as we see Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai rearing his head upon the earth and destroying the wicked and bringing that judgment to light so with that i have psalms chapter 83 and 15 says so persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm fill their faces with shame that they may seek the name the outer one let them be confounded and trouble forever ye let them let them be put to shame and perish that men may know thou whose name alone is yahweh art the most high over all the earth and that's what exactly what yahweh is doing um, they show, let me see if I can find something through the spirit. Just do the spirit. They shall know that I am the Lord KJV. And y'all about to my shadow judging the earth. I don't want to all get, get that uh, second chapter, uh, chapter 15. It says, but this one is Ezekiel chapter 33 and 29 it says, Then shall they know I'm the Ottawan when I have laid thy hand, when I have laid the land most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed. Just to, just to add to that one through the spirit for wickedness. KJV, let's see if it comes up right there. Beautiful. Second Ezra is chapter Second Ezra chapter 15 and 6 says for wickedness has exceeded polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled and that's the reason why Yahweh Bashim is judging the earth through the spirit so we see Yahweh Bashim is rearing his head upon the earth for all the abominations done in the midst thereof and Yahweh Bashim is bringing his judgment to light okay Isaiah chapter 29 and 6 says Thou shalt be visited of the Ottoman of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and with great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. And Yahweh Shemashah is judging these heathens, of course, of course, along with the two thirds of our people. Yahweh Shemashah has shown himself as prescribed in these latter days. Nahum chapter 1 and 3 says, The Ottoman is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Ottoman hath this way in the whirlwind and in the storm. And in the clouds are the dust of his feet. I kind of jumped ahead in regards to that article about Lord's Will. I'll read it right now. It says, Ecclesiastes chapter 43 and 29 says, The other one is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. And that's where I'll stop and just grab on this. Uh, this is per New York Times. It says, Super Typhoon Mawar heads toward the Philippines after leaving Guam. It says, after hitting with the force of a Category 4 earthquake, Typhoon Mawar continued strength on Thursday night as it headed west across the Pacific Ocean toward the Philippines, Taiwan, and possibly Japan. Yahabashi Masha is, is out there doing some mighty work through the spirit. Um, if you bear with me here, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 43 and 29 says, The Ottawan is terrible and very great. And marvelous in his power and absolutely you know he's showing himself to these hurricanes and to the signs and ultimately these signs are prescribed to be an indicator as to what time we're in pursuant to the scripture second Ezra chapter 9 and 1 says he answered me then and said measure out the time diligently in itself and when thou see as part of the signs pass which I told you told thee before then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made to Adi Abashim al Shai to the spirit, right? And if you just bear with me here, I'm going to grab to the spirit. I'm going to try to grab another scripture here because, you know, and that hurricane is hitting the Philippines, which we know our people, um, um, especially, you know, that we understand through the spirit that there's a lot of northern kingdom and this scripture here, particularly is dealing with Ephraim. We know that Ephraim is scattered among the Philippines, so and then I've been around, uh, of course, uh, the Northern Kingdom, Iskar, and there's a true spirit that, you know, some of those Filipinos are Jakes, right? Moreover, Northern Kingdom, moreover, Iskar. 
um, and they do have that drunker spirit. So just to the spirit I'm going to have, I'm going to go into this one, which is Isaiah chapter 28 and 2 says, Behold, the other one hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of, of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down the earth, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. It says, The crown of pride of the drunkards Ephraim shall be trodden under her feet, and the glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat valley shall be a fading flower, and as a hasty fruit before the summer, which when he looketh upon sea, see it while it is yet in his hand, he eateth it up in the day shall the Adwan of hosts, which means war, the Lord of hosts, be for a crown of glory and a dedium of beauty unto the residue of his people. Uh, to you know, to but ultimately, he's going to cut off two thirds over the nation of Israel, along with the heathen, as Yahvashim Shai rears his head with a mighty hand and destruction upon the earth to judge the wicked and to give us that indicator that hey, hey we're almost out of here. You know, our uh, our salvation draws nigh. I'm gonna just leave it there. I'll run to like Yahvashim Shai, give you more through the spirit. And with that, until the next time, I say Shalom.